It has been a stunning transformation, turning a stadium that seats 2,000 into a superstructure that now holds 11,000. I'm just thrilled the fact that it's there, that it looks as great as it does. I don't think there's a bad seat in the hose. It really has helped us uh, showcase Halifax again. People across the Canada will look at it and say, they erected a 10,000-seat stadium in a couple of weeks and are putting on a CFL exhibition game? Wow, Halifax continues to do it. What a great job. But they won't say it was easy. For the past 10 days, it took 40 workers who labored around the clock and hundreds of liters of paint to convert Husky Stadium into a field of dreams for Touchdown Atlantic. There's a lot of concerns because the stuff all arrives uh, basically two weeks before and we have to have it all in place uh, uh, within two or three days of the event. So there's, there's always that sort of stress that comes with that. But uh, when you've got good partners working with you, you have great confidence in their capacity to get the job done. Over the years, St. Mary's has hosted some great moments in football history. Touchdown, St. Mary's! They'll go to the Vanier Cup! Tonight, that excitement will reach a new level, and university officials couldn't be prouder that this stadium is the host venue. The transformation is just fabulous. I mean, this is all something that we've always wanted you know, to have this many seats in the Husky Stadium. It really looks like I thought it should have looked uh, when we originally built that stadium back a number of years ago to be able to accommodate those numbers of people. And there were many times over the years when the Huskies, who continue to do well, would have put 10,000 people in that particular area if we had those many seats. For a stadium to be built in Halifax, chances are it's going to have to be built at a separate location. The maximum expansion capability for this facility is in the neighborhood of 15,000 people. That's too small for the CFL, and university officials say too big for this campus. Paul Hollingsworth, TSN.